Despite being filled with a wide variety of different dinosaurs, only four species have factually appeared in all five films in the Jurassic Park series. These animals are Velociraptor, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex, and the duck-billed Parasaurolophus, the last of which happens to have one of the most intriguing histories in the entire franchise. Now, the first time we'd ever get to see a parasaur within Jurassic Park is in the film adaptation of the novel. Here, it's shown to live in the Brachiosaur enclosure and herd within social groups near the watering hole. These particular clones are colored differently to all other appearances of the animal in the entire franchise, with the parasaurs possessing a dark green skin tone. Later in the same film, we're shown the Jurassic Park mural within the visitor center. This piece of art features two separate species of the dinosaur with Parasaurolophus walkeri, which is seen in the films, and John Ostrich short crested variation, which isn't. Here, we see a bright blue coloration for one animal and a muted tannish color for the other. Since the also never before seen bright green Velociraptor is present in the same painting, it's believed that this mural is simply an artist's rendition. Parasaurolophus would also make an appearance in Top's Return to Jurassic Park comics, as well as the Lost World Jurassic Park adaptation, in which they were incorrectly labeled as Corinthosaurs. Michael Crichton would later make Parasaurolophus canon to his book universe as well. In the Lost World novel, Richard Levine observes a herd of the dinosaurs living near water along with some apatosaurs. Here, the animals are depicted as being in a symbiotic relationship with the sauropods. The large apatosaurs give protection, whereas the smaller Parasaurolophus use their better eyes to warn the other dinosaurs for predators. Its most famous appearance is without a doubt the dinosaur's inclusion in The Lost World, in which we see several running down the game trail while being pursued by the engine hunters. Dieter Stark famously tranquilizes one just before the other hunters capture it. Later that night, Nick Van Owen and Sarah Harding assist in the captured animal's escape during the sabotage on the hunter camp. In this movie, the Parasaurs get their most popular design, which is a tannish brown coloration. The body of one of these animals is also shown in the Rex nest scene, where it has been feasted upon by the carnivorous dinosaurs. Interestingly enough, this particular Parasaurolophus effect is said to have been created for use in a totally different opening to the Lost World that never got made with sources stating that Paul Magias originally constructed it to be used in a scene in which Japanese fishermen pull the carcass up from the ocean before it breaks from the weight and sinks into the waters below. Whether or not this is true, I honestly don't know, but it was factually reused in JP3 during the small scene in which the T-Rex lifts its head up from a bloody carcass. Parasaurolophus has been made into various different toys for the franchise, starting with the Lost World Jurassic Park, the most memorable of which happens to be its own electronic running figure with the code name Hornhead. It also appeared in the Rage Rig with Dieter Stark and the T-Rex, as well as a finger puppet version. It also got a Glowbones edition and a special Microverse version. The Parasaurolophus would also be given its own Lost World plushie and even get a special JP3 Coca-Cola figure made. In the movie Jurassic Park 3, you can see some Parasaurs herding with the illegally cloned species Corythosaurus. The animal has also appeared in several video games, most of which happen to be made around the time of the Lost World. Its most important game appearance, though, is undoubtedly Jurassic Park the game, in which we see a few of the animals being handled by Dr. Sorkin right around the time she contaminates Isla Nublar's water supply with a good dose of lysine. Parasaurolophus would later appear in Jurassic World during a few of the herbivore enclosure scenes, and you can actually see two of them fighting in the background just before the boys move out of the enclosure. Around this time, the Hasbro Jurassic World line would give us the Hero Mashers version of a Parasaur. This dinosaur has also made an appearance in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom within two scenes, the first of which being in the back of a truck on the island, and the second being in the underground Lockwood Lab. With the creature playing a role in every Jurassic Park film and having as much merchandise as it does, I'd personally say that the Parasaurolophus is actually a fan favorite dinosaur. While it isn't given the spotlight nearly as much as Velociraptor and T-Rex, it certainly has made a name for itself by making some very enjoyable appearances, my personal favorite of which happens to be in the Lost World. But what are your opinions on this dinosaur? How big of a Parasaur fan do each and all of you happen to be? Let me know in the comments down below, I have a pretty strong feeling that most of you like this animal more than you even thought you did. Now before I go, I want to thank my game wardens like Bilo Jenkins and Patrick Perry, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank my park workers and engine hunters as well. It means the world to me that all of you guys enjoy what I do so much, and the support that you give really means the world to me. 
I can't say thank you enough for that guys, it's honestly awesome of you. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video guys, and as always, take it easy.